I am Pastor Don McKinnon of Legacy Church, and for those of you who are wondering who or what Legacy Church is, we are, as you can read above my head, a community that cares. And what that means is that we strive to be a family. When you look in the Word of God and you see what the church was in Acts, you learn that they came together and worshiped together and had food and fellowship together. And they were really a church who was a family. And that's what we strive to be here. Many of the people coming here have come from different backgrounds, different uh, churches, different relationships within their own families, and they have come to find a family that truly cares here at Legacy Church. I have been here for six years, along with my beautiful wife, Natalie McKinnon, and we have served here since 2017. We have gone through a lot. As you can tell, we have been through the pandemic here, and it was quite an interesting time here at this church. But in all, that wanting to be family and striving to be there for one another really pulled out on top. If you're wondering why you should come here to Legacy Church and possibly make it your new church home, I want to say that one of the things is, besides being a church family, most importantly, we preach the Word of God. I am a pastor who believes in expository preaching. We need to feed the flock. We need to learn. You're not going to come here and have light, fluffy, feel-good messages that you can get from a feel-good uh, self-improvement seminar. We're going to preach the Word of God through the Word of God, and you're going to find out that that's part of our discipleship, is preaching the Word of God. So on Sundays, you're going to have me or whoever we have preaching preach expositorily to you to teach you truly what the Word of God says. Uh, we also have strong ministries, which we'll get to momentarily, but we have strong ministries like our men's and women's ministry. Our women meet on Thursdays, and it is one of our strongest ministries, I feel, that we have going right now. We also have a men's ministry that meets monthly, but we're working on even meeting more So if you're planning a visit here to Legacy Church on a Sunday, what should you expect? Well, I'm going to say this. I'm not a preacher who likes to preach all the time in a suit, coat, and tie, though I may do so on occasion. Most of the time you might see me in a polo shirt or a sweater, depending on the weather or time of year. Um, you might even see me wearing this right now, a fleece shirt, but... Um, when you come here, this is what you're going to find. You're going to find people who are going to meet you at the door and they're going to welcome you with a smile, hand you a bulletin, invite you in, introduce you to people. Um, you'll have people come up and introduce themselves to you, maybe even offer you a cup of coffee from our coffee bar that we have in the back of our fellowship hall and invite you to come in and sit with them. But you will then be introduced to the music. You'll have, we have a time of prayer. We have a time of announcements. And then we get into the Word of God. And then after, so we celebrate weekly with communion. And then we also have a time of fellowship at the end with food and coffee. So some of the ministries that you might find at Legacy Church is we have a strong women's ministry that meets weekly Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock. Uh, they meet in the fellowship hall. They may have coffee and a snack or something uh, at that time, but um, they go into a study of the Word of God or they might be doing a book study at the time, a book that uh, really challenges the women in growing in their faith, growing as wives and mothers and um, just growing as servants and, and disciples in the church. Uh, the men, we have a men's ministry. We do currently 
a monthly breakfast, but we're also um, going to be having a monthly discipleship time where we will begin going through the Bible and a, possibly a book also that is going to challenge the men to become better husbands, better fathers, and better servants and disciple makers within the church. We have a youth ministry that meets currently once a month, but we're hoping that as we grow, this can become something that is a weekly meeting because kids really need to be meeting weekly on a weekly basis, knowing who Jesus is, and especially with the challenges that currently arise in some of the high schools today. We also have a children's ministry that meets uh, during church service and that is something where we ask you to sign in and go down and they have age appropriate uh, learning for who they are uh, and at the end of service we ask you to go down and sign the kids out it's part of our safety also all our all our teachers are quarried and sorried so you can rest assured that uh, your children are safe The vision of Legacy Church is to love God, love people, and make disciples. We believe strongly in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And we think that that's something that a lot of churches have lost along the ways, that they need to be making disciples who make disciples. And that's what we want to be. That's what we're striving to be. And that's what we've had in our DNA for a long time. But it's taken us a while to really get going on it. But now that we're getting going, we are seeing lives changed here. We are seeing people change. We are seeing people grow in their faith. We are seeing people being challenged on Sundays and sticking around sometimes till 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon after church is over because they are challenged and they have questions. And because of that, we're excited to see what God is doing here at Legacy Church and what God will be continuing to do at Legacy Church. So what are some of the outreaches we've done? Well, you might be asking yourself, what is an outreach? An outreach is really something that a church does for or within the community. Uh, what are some of the outreaches that we've done within the community and for the community? Well, we've been a part of Chain of Lights. Uh, five out of the last seven years, we have been bringing in toiletries for the refugees and for homeless people. Uh, we have baked cookies for the fire department and police departments. Uh, we have had family fun days here at the church where we've brought in bounce houses and had hot dogs and all sorts of stuff uh, we use our we let our we let the local uh, teams use our field free of charge um, they might give a love gift but our whole thing is is that we want them to be able to use that because that's part of good community building and so we've had the Sutton Little League here we have a Worcester travel team energy baseball here and we also are going to be having the girls softball team here this year and this is something that is really growing uh, as an outreach for us the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing community dinners uh, we've done one community dinner uh, already and we're actually going to be helping serving first responders with a free lunch um, in March uh, as part of St. Patrick's Day weekend. So in equipping our church one thing that we want to do is we want to have discipleship. Um, discipleship is more than just coming Sunday to the church service. Discipleship is making an effort to be here or to meet with someone one-on-one -on -one who is a mature Christian and can help you understand and grow in, in your understanding of who Jesus is and who you are in Jesus. Um, we have a women's discipleship that meets on Thursdays. It's part of our women's ministry. We have um, a women's brunch. We have a men's breakfast. We have a men's study group that meets during uh, once a month right now. Um, and 
these will all continue to grow as as the church grows we are going to continue to grow these we have a sunday school ministry too that meets at 9 a.m and uh, that is off and on throughout the year that's going to meet uh, february to june and then september to the end of november yes there are things that we want to see in the future uh, we are a church that is growing. We continue to grow. Um, we have dreams. We have visions. One of the things is, is if you come here and you look at it and you say, well, why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? Stick around. That's probably part of our vision for the future. Uh, there are things that we plan to start this year. There are things that we're not going to start this year, but there are things that we want to start, but we know we've got to get bigger to be able to have the manpower to do those things. So our vision is to really just keep growing, keep sharing the love of Christ, add ministries and outreaches and different things that we can as we grow and as we're able to do so, because we don't want to burn out the people that we have had. We've done that before. And we want to make sure that we learn from the mistakes of the past and that's what we're doing so we're doing what we can with who we have but the goal is always to do better things um, stronger things as we grow as a church so one of the things that people are going to be asking is as we are growing how do we keep the family that's something i've heard from day one here as the pastor is pastor if we get to this size how you know we're not gonna we're gonna lose the family feel and i can tell you i have been uh, i have served as associate pastor in two churches which have been both at 100 150 people and in both cases both churches never lost the family feel because there were things that were done that kept the family feel going and one of the things that we're planning to do are some of the things we already do. We have uh, potlucks and community dinners for our church family. We have church family game nights. We have church movie nights. We have things that we do here at the church that keep the family feel going. People learning and talking. In fact, one of my favorite things is watching people come in the door on a Sunday. And it's like if you've ever watched the old show Cheers and everybody's, hey, Norm, um, that's the way it is. People come in and it's, hey, you know, and people are just walking over and hugging, shaking hands. And it shows that we're growing and it continues to go that way. I see that with new visitors come in. I see, I see people like not so much swarm over them but people just introducing themselves and and making them feel warm and comfortable and not overbearing but just really growing um the church because that's what we are we are a family and so as we continue to grow as a family we will continue to do those things we'll we'll have we'll have picnics we'll have um you know uh, hikes we'll we'll do stuff uh not just here at the church but outside because that's what we need to do you know the church needs to get out beyond the building here and there that's part of also some of the stuff that we want to do we want to get out beyond the walls of the church and you know let people see what a church really is all about so we're not going to lose the family feel the family feel is going to just grow So if you're interested in checking out Legacy Church, we meet here at 659 Central Turnpike in Sutton, Massachusetts, Sundays at 10.30 a.m. We do have an adult Bible study that meets at 9 a.m. on Sundays from the first week of February to the first week of June, and also the third week of September to the end of November. We hope to see you here. God bless.